Welcome back to week 18 of the Iron Man Road to Completionist Cave series. It's me, an exotic llama, starting the week with a divination level. Uh, let's turn in this Majorat memory. Did some divination, some collecting. And finally, there's level 90 divination. It's a big one. Uh, it's going to allow me to go to the Ark and collect um, the types of energies here, uh, which will be good. And... Um, also, I forgot to mention in the last video that I did get Bandos Gloves uh, whenever I did a Bandos Reaper task towards the end of the week. Uh, it just It's not much of an upgrade for melee, so it completely skipped my mind. Um, so basically, I'm going from Barrows Gloves uh, from RFD up to Bandos Gloves, which are right here. Yeah, so not too big of a difference. Uh, Alright, from an elite clue. Sure... And it's about that time again, going to start a stream, do some racks. Uh, I believe it's the last day of 2-3, uh, so I might be trying 1-3 again uh, tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm looking to make this a daily thing, and if I can really get down that, uh, like, path 1-3 and, uh, you know, path 1-2, um, then yeah, I'll be able to get 4 or 5 kills a day and start working towards those Nox weapons. Also do want to point out, uh, you probably noticed earlier, I changed the overlay a little bit. Uh, mostly because I'm pretty much done with the quests. It's not that important anymore. Uh, and just, it looks a little bit nicer. I did the little uh, background opacity thing, so it's a little bit easier to read, uh, regardless of what location I'm in. Yeah. I completely forgot to turn off the music. So this is the recording. There's the drop right there. Okay, cool. <laughs> you said a Lego. Is that a leg -o? Ah, kill number three, and ah, nothing again. Well, I still didn't get signed, but I started to panic at the end. Ah, uh, that's all right. So, uh, turns out my new Reaper is also Rax, and uh, eh, very sketchy kill. <laughs> uh, but that's my first time pushing to 120% in rage, so I don't know what I expected. Hey, Serenic Scales. That's actually really good. And the end of that Ganode Beast task marks 250 tasks in a row for 300 points. Really getting on up there. Aha, I remembered to set the video back to 60. Uh, also, turning in a Divination Daily Challenge for Luminous Memories. 20.6k uh, div, so... Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's like, uh, I don't know, 40% of a cash. Alright, and here's me finishing up for the night. I've been doing some thieving, now up to 81. And, uh, oh yeah, one button mode, that's right. Yeah, so I did 80 and 81 thieving. And, uh, earlier I also got something else. I don't know, it must have been the uh, 90 divination. I spent a while uh, collecting energy there. Starting off day 121 by doing some divination. Uh, collected 20 more divine charges uh, after I collected like 17 yesterday. Uh, so I'm up to 269,000 charge, uh, which means, yeah, I can actually go do some more training. Uh, I think I'm going to move on to doing some fishing. I've been doing some barbarian fishing, and now have a uh, level 10 fishing or automatic. I'm going to disassemble that for some pretty good invention XP. There's a level. Nice. And uh, going to also get rid of this, um, or probably get rid of this gizmo, because I want to replace it with a better one uh, that has furnace and honed as well. Well, I used a lot of components, and all I ended up getting was a... Uh, uh, honed 3, Furnace 1, so that's a slight increase in XP per hour, though. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and throw that on there and go back to fishing. And with the press of this urn, I should get, yeah, there we go, 85 fishing. And that's a pretty big one. Gets cavefish unlocked, which I can now um, collect from cavefish bubbles every day. Uh, we'll probably start doing that once I get my cooking high enough to uh, cook those, so about another 900,000 cooking to go before then. And here's turning in a few daily challenges. Um, whoop, there we go. Let's see, one for gym stalls with thieving. Uh, so, oh, wow, almost 40k thieving. That's pretty good. And uh, rune minotaur pouches, uh, which will be, yeah, about 24k. Um, and that wasn't a thieving level. Ooh, I thought it was for some reason. And a tortoise shell. Okay. Um, gonna uncurl these prawn balls, though, for fun. Should get a decent amount of uh, barren sharks. Also about to go do my daily stream and try out uh, Raxor Path 1-3. Oh, and a uh, Herblore daily challenge for Extreme Magic, so 
Let's knock that out real quick. And there's that challenge done. Uh, no problem. Let's see. Uh, 24k. Pretty nice. And <laughs> a single toad flax pack. Alright. Yeah, so that went pretty well. Kill number one of the day. Oh shit! There we go! There we go! There we go! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that feels pretty good. So, tried path three, died, uh, came back, and did path one again, because may as well. Hey, that's nice. 400k. And there's kill three for the day. Probably the last one. And another look! Nah, nah, it's good though. Dwarf Weed and Avento, I appreciate that. And some more Brew Flask to add up to the bank. So I'm doing some Kriara on a task while streaming, and... A Buckler. A Buckler repeat. Mm. Just did an Arid Slayer task as melee, and, uh, well, finished my second Tuska Mask. It's gonna turn that in for some Slayer points. And, uh, can, uh, siphon my Lance for the first time. 580k XP, that's pretty great. And uh, that puts me at 80 invention. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not 80 all now, because I have a little bit of farming and hunter left to do. Uh, but I might actually knock that out tonight. I don't know. And with this, there's 90 summoning. So another 90 down. Six more levels to the yak. Uh, it's about 4.3 million XP. Uh, don't have enough charms still. Uh, might camp some water fiends to get up my uh, melee stats and to get some more crimson charms. Not sure yet. And with that, I hit level 80. 80, uh, Hunter. Yeah, starting the day. Uh, day 122. Forgot to update the overlay. And, uh, yeah, nice. I can now place five traps. And I guess I can get Draconic Jadinkos as well, which is the highest tier there. Uh, cool. And this right here is going to be a pretty big one. There's 80 farming. And... That should be level 80 in all stats, right? Did I? No, I didn't mess up. Yeah, that's right. It just doesn't show in my chat box. Nice. Yeah, so there's uh, 80 plus everything. It's going to be a while till 90 plus everything, but yeah, not bad. Oh, wow. This uh, this guy just trimmed. Congrats to him. And, uh, well, anyway, uh, here's my uh, sort of weekly statue. I don't do it every single week, but I get it done most of the time. And uh, it's not going to show up, but that was a construction level. You can see it's a pretty high uh, XP to next level right there. Um, yeah, so it's 85 construction. All right. Hey, there's the fireworks. And there's the end of a clockwork syringe. Uh, some decent XP there. And Oh, wow. That's actually a really good level. 98 defense. I did not intend for that, but uh, cool. Yeah, nice. And there's the end of the brink of extinction. Nice. Only one quest left to go. And I'm going to put that 275k in strength. Uh, yeah. Just because it'll be a few levels. Or at least one level. Yeah. Level and a half. Not bad. And there's the end. Birthright of the dwarves. Um, am I supposed to get more than this? want to make sure nothing, like, falls on the ground. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's all of the quest rewards, but... The bigger thing is that I maxed out quest points. Yeah, I'm going to go pick up that cape now. Also, that puts me at uh, 83 smithing, which I need for Addy Claws, so I'm glad to finally have that unlocked. Here we go. I would like to buy a quest point cape, please. Yep. I will pay for it. And there's the broadcast. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad I finally have that taken care of. Awesome. So, here's the only thing I'm going to bother buying from the Valentine's uh, thing. It's the reward or the loot beam. And, you know, I know it's pretty crappy, uh, but hopefully it'll be like buffed eventually so it's actually like viewable, seeable. <laughs> and uh yeah, that that's all. Did a little bit of dungeoneering, and here's uh, finishing the statue of Rhiannon uh, yet again. I'll put this onto defense. Awesome. And it's got this nice little animation. Cool. I can start again. Uh, I'm going to be working on dungeoneering quite a bit uh, over the next two weeks, because that is going to be an upcoming 99. Alright, first kill for the day. And... Hey! 
overload flasks. That's weird. All right, kill number two of the day after a, you know screwing up second kill or second attempt. Eh, dwarf weed seeds. All right, kill number three for the day. Uh, probably the last one. Finished a reaper assignment for 25 reaper points and two serenic scales. I'm really happy about that one. Well, I just did a full Slayer task at Armadillo, and uh, yeah, still streaming. Last kill, I got a beam, and it's a glove repeat. Rip. Doing an invention uh, shop run right now, and uh, so yeah, I'm up to one skirt, two gloves, two helmets, and three hilts from Armadillo at 443 kill count. I'm not sure if I showed that at the end of the last clip, uh, but you know, I'll just delete this clip if I didn't. So I think I'm going to start using uh, Jack of Trades on summoning, at least until I get to 96, uh, because I've been trying to figure out, you know, this, this little problem of not having enough charms, and, uh, well, this will help out a decent bit. This is like, like 50 crimsons, a little bit more than that, actually, uh, per day, that I don't have to collect, so. Ending the day with some chompy hunting? Yeah, y'all are going to see why uh, tomorrow. Give me that meat. And starting off day 123, I just finished the Varok hard task set. Uh, getting the Varok armor 3 now, and a little bit of extra XP. Throw it into herb lore, because why not? And uh, yeah, I think this gives me a higher chance of double mining um, gold or soft clay or whatever it may be. Uh, so yeah, it's good to have. Also, this is why I was getting chompy. I had to make a wild pie as a, as a part of the task set. And here's another scroll mission complete. I, um, I'm not sure how many that is. Let's see. Yeah, it's part three out of four for the Death Lotus darts. Uh, so if I get that last piece, I might be able to make some darts and, uh, you know, buff up my racks killing. It's getting close to that time for me to do my daily racks, uh, but I thought I'd pick up a Ring of Vigor so that I can, uh, you know, use this as a switch. Alright, there's the first racks of the day. It was pretty horrible phase three, but hey, magic seeds and overloads, I like that. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not doing so hot today. Whew, let's see. A Trisk Frag, oh nice! I got a Pheromone! Yeah, that's gonna save me some money on the instance fees now. Whew. Well, I ended up having a bad world, had a lot of problems, and then, uh, wow, no food at the end of the kill. Just not my day. Uh. Yeah, just not my day for drops either. Well, only a one day of 1-3 left. So I'm basically Bodhi and getting a 99 just from, you know, killing guards for medium clues here. Right? Right? Is it... Is it... Soon? There we go. Nice. There's my 99 for the week. And... Oh, well, okay. Total level 2400 with virtual levels included. Okay. And that was the end of my stream, but, uh, yeah, picked up 99 defense there. Also did a little bit of Glay Cores for the first time. Got, uh, 12 shards of Armadillo. Uh, no boots or anything crazy, you know. Uh, but let's see. That was... 108 kills, because I think you get one or two from Ritual of the Majorat. That's 100 and something kills. Uh, yeah, camped there for a while. Uh, nice. Yeah, so on to Dungeoneering. Might do Prayer or something like that. Uh, we'll see for next week. It's only three mil away, and I got like five or six hundred K banks. It's not too bad. So, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I picked up uh, some Invention levels. I disassembled my uh, Augmented Gandermic Leggings, and I siphoned the Sun Spear again. Uh, I need to do a little bit of component collection so I can augment some more Ganodermic pieces. And uh, plan on camping Ganodermic Beasts for a little while. I might do a 99 invention one week, um, just purely camping in a Dermic Beasts all week, picking up seeds, doing some farm runs, uh, we'll see what happens though. And just because I thought I'd record it, here's actual level 2400. It's not the virtual level, but it's actual 2400. And there's the other super fireworks for it. Nice. Turning in a daily challenge that I extended, uh, Magic Short Bows. Wow, 120.5k fletching. There's a level 83. Pretty nice. And 645 magic logs back. Only cost 672 to start. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty insane. 
Uh, yeah. I'll have, like, no bowstrings left, but that's yeah, alright. So you can see I've been saving up some uh, broad arrowheads for a few days. I uh, now have a lot of uh, headless arrows to go through and some arrow shafts to feather and then tip. Uh, so I'm going to do this, but I think I'm going to be, like, super efficient. Go do some, um, uh, what's it called? The... Uh, livid farm. Go do some livid farm while I do some fletching. Yeah. Fun. So I put my miscellanea on uh, half wood instead of half herbs and um, all fishing instead of all wood. Uh, yeah, this is going to basically boost my cooking level. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, it's quite a bit there. Uh, it comes out to like 80k cooking a day or something like that. Um, I did the math on it with all the, with urns and stuff included, it should be like 81k, um, but, you know, I need to really push my cooking level up a little bit, uh, get to 88, because I'm now collecting K-fish every day with my divine limit, uh, whenever I see it, you know, if I, if I see a shark bubble, I'm not gonna skip it, but if I see a K-fish bubble, I'm gonna go for it, because it's more XP, and it's better food, uh, but I do need 88 cooking before I can even cook it, so... And with that, I just broke uh, 50k produce points. Uh, I think I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, you see, got quite a few broads. Um, got a little bit more to do, which I'll probably do some more livid in the morning. Or uh, I'll just save them for a little while, because I've got some rune crafting to do before I can really finish livid. Um, yeah. Started off day 124 with a little bit of Jadinko fire making. Going to turn in that daily challenge. And, uh, nice, almost 53,000 XP for that, uh, which puts me, well, I'm on my way to 90 now. Uh, this is something I'm going to try to take care of before too long. Uh, just keep fire making the Jadinko Lair. It doesn't even cost much in terms of prayer pots. Like, I stayed there for the duration of two beaver pouches, and I only used, like, I probably only used about one potion, because uh, I toggle it on and off whenever I go between the, uh, curly roots. Ah, uh, the little, uh, the little dark cord jumped me like four times in a row or something, but first racks of the day, and it's a Trisk. Uh, but I appreciate the charms and the Cerebrews. Surprised I got the kill, because I was completely screwing up and just realized I'm not in revolution for either of the kills today. Battle staffs, that's some, uh, alright money. Lot happy about that kill, uh, went a lot better, and... Nice. Got rewarded. Got rewarded for the uh, the better kill. Well, uh, the minions did not want to spawn in phase 3, so uh, yeah. I had to deal with all 20 in phase 4. <sighs> Is one still alive? I, I think one was still alive, but we'll see what happens. Yay! Yeah, not worth it at all. A hey, rip, well, there's another day down. And right here is 90 fire making. Yeah, I know, I'm still working on it. And I know it's a pretty useless skill, but it's either this that's going to be my 99, or this that's going to be my 99 for next week, and this one feels like it'll be a lot faster. So, yeah, on with some more fire making for the rest of the night. And of course, 91. And, uh, is it 91? No, uh, 91 for uh, an effigy, which I believe I have. Uh, so I can go take care of that. One more level for the ads. Don't know if I'm going to go get it immediately, though. On to day 125. I uh, worked on some fire making earlier. I'm about 100k away from 92 now. And uh, doing a little bit of LRC mining and smithing. Uh, just because I have a little bit to read in a textbook. And it's perfectly... Uh, well, it's a lot easier to AFK here. I was thinking about going and doing some fishing, but I'd rather do this. Because I think this will be a lot faster to 99 than, uh, than fishing will. Also, uh, now that I think about it, I'm not sure how worth it it is to, well, for one, bring urns here, because you're going to want to get 99 smithing anyway, and uh, just pushing mining further ahead of smithing doesn't do much uh, for that. Uh, also, I don't know how valuable the urn enhancer would be if you are going to use urns here in the first place. Um, it's, it's very minimal XP per urn in the first place, so like 625, and you're only getting a 25% boost for a flat 20 charges, versus whenever you use like a cooking or a fishing urn, you get a lot more base XP that is then multiplied, and it still only uses 20 charges. Uh, so yeah, some interesting thoughts there. Uh, I guess you can determine on your own 
uh, playthrough if that's worth it to you, but I don't think it's worth it for me, so I'm just going to stick to using these urns uh, for now. Later on, I might uh, decide to to stop using mining urns altogether, because, yeah, they're only worth like 600 XP. As you can see, I'm down to uh, four minutes left on my Perfect Juju Mining Potion, and, um, yeah, I just realized I wasn't wearing my Varrock armor, nor my Golden Mining Boots. Man, that efficiency. First kill of the day! Come on, leg! Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Alright, kill number two for the day. Ah, uh, there's the third Trisk Fragment from Rax. Kill number three for the day. Finally got a Water Talisman drop. Oh my gosh. I actually want those for my blue charms. Oh, jeez, that was a close kill. Huh. <sighs> All for some Hydric Bolt Tips. Rip. And green charms, not even crimson or blues. Alright, five kill day. I, uh, I attribute this to path two being open instead of path three. Finally! Finally! <sighs> so happy. That way I don't have to worry about my Reaper necklace running out if I use it at other bosses. <sighs> I'm so... Yes, thank you. Thank you for one good drop. And because I've been needing to study for class, just did 86 fishing, just chilling over here doing some fish finching. On to day 126, uh, starting off the morning, I finished up this fishing rod right here, and I disassemble it, some invention XP, and uh, oh, okay, some extra invention XP, and move on to the next fishing rod automatic. Way late in the day, finally logging back in, uh, about 50k away from um, 87 fishing, that's where I ended up earlier, and uh, going to go and stream some racks real quick. Alright, first rack skill for the day, some battle staves. Not, uh, nothing much. A little bit of money. Come on, leg, give me that leg. Ah, well, battle staves again, some overloads. Alright. Also, I've been doing all three kills today so far on full manual and doing just fine. Alright, some rune plate bodies, there's some alkables. That's right, take that, you stupid spooter. Uh, nothing. Wow. Oh, got a uh, Zamorakian Essence doing some Twin Furies for a Reaper assignment right here. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Alright, there's a uh, 90 attack. Noxious Scythe, oh man. Uh, there, there's 90 attack on the uh, Twin Furies. Got three more left on this Reaper assignment. Then gonna move on to the next Reaper assignment, and I think I'll call it a day there. So, uh, ended up not getting anything new from the, uh, Twin Furies. Nothing really, uh, significant other than the one essence drop. Um, and my new, uh, daily, or daily challenge, what I'm talking about. My new Reaper task is now, uh, eight Araxor, so I decided not to roll past that. It's gonna be, uh, really good in terms of Reaper points. Uh, about to use these seals somewhere, but I came in with no armor on, and I'm like, yeah, this is a safe zone, right? And then I see a Necreal. And what? I didn't know mobs could get up here. I thought this like this little square right here was supposed to be a, like a completely safe area. That's that's weird. Also, I'm not wearing the little shard, so shouldn't he be aggroed to me? I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> weird stuff, man. And I'm really close to that 50% drop increase from Grigorovic now. And right here is a Jack of Trades on summoning, as I have been doing, and then turning in two different daily challenges. Here's Decorated Fishing Urn and uh, Harmony Moss. Nice. And Extreme Ragings. Like, a few moments later. Completely forgot to uh, take care of that one before making that clip. So, I think I'm going to be ending the week here, because I've got a lot of editing to do for last week's video, uh, using some new software for this editing, so it's going to take me a little while to pick up on it, and I'm still trying to upload on a, you know, decent schedule like I have been. Um, so yeah, this will be the end of week 18, but I'm going to open this casket first. And, well, that's new, the Bandos Full Helm, and Ancient pl Plate Legs, both of those are new, uh, so I don't feel like re-rolling. Um, you know what? For fun, why not? Let's see. And nothing. Oh, cat staff. That's 
that's something new and some onyx bolt tips now, altogether this is probably about 200,000 gold that I can uh, turn into alkables and stuff uh, you can see the cash stack is also still building up it's up to 29 mil uh, yep so that's the end of this week uh, week 19 as I said week 18 18 and um, yeah thanks for watching see you guys next week back for those uh, those continuous gains Later, y'all. Oh, and that whole outro thing, uh, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, on the end cards and the stuff, and okay, bye.